What is up guitarists of the internet, my name is Liam and today I want to talk to you about hammer claw technique. Hammer claw technique is a great extra thing to have in your guitar playing tool belt. Um, it's great for country music, jazz music particularly, you could work it into blues, pop, rock, almost anything. Maybe not metal. Opeth though. Anyway, so what is hammer claw? Hammer claw refers to the hand. The hammer specifically is the thumb, which will be picking things in a hammer-like motion, apparently. And the claw refers to the fingers. Now in this exercise, we're gonna learn a sort of country blues thing. Uh, we're gonna be using these three fingers. So these three fingers are the claw, this one thumb is the hammer. In order to play this, you are going to need to know the following chords. The chords you need to know are G, C add nine, D, and D seven. You know those four chords, you will be fine at this exercise. So the tab and chord charts are linked in the website below. I'm not sure at the moment actually what the website will be, might be Tumblr, we'll see. So I'm gonna play through the pattern for you now. It's at 100 beats per minute if you wanna go and practice by yourself. Uh, as I say, check out the chord charts and the tablature on the website, which I don't know what it is yet. Uh, might even put a backing track up as well. We'll see how I feel. Um, so I'm gonna play through it, then I'm gonna walk you through each individual part. One, two, three, four. So the first thing that comes up is the G chord. Now the way I'm playing this is I'm playing the root note on the E string with my thumb. At the same time, I'm playing the three highest notes on the guitar, so the G, B, and E strings, and that's with these three fingers, as you can see in the picture-in-picture -picture video. How cool is that, by the way? So I've separated out the chord. I'm going to play the root note and the high note separately. This is the cool thing about hammer claw. You can separate out a chord like this, make it a bit more interesting. So, that's how that goes. The next bit, I'm hammering on to the second fret of the A string, again picking that with my thumb, and then picking with my first finger the next open string, so the open D string. So the whole thing for that bit. And I'm letting all the notes ring through as well. Now the cool thing, part two, figure two, is that the C add nine chord is the same as the G chord, but you're moving the two bass fingers up. And that's C add nine. And I'm playing it in a very similar way, uh, except that the root now is on the A string, uh, the note we're hammering onto is on the D string, and then we're playing the open G string, so. And then it's back to the G. So then after the G, we play the D7, and I've separated this out. We're only playing the top four strings. So I'm playing the root note, the open D, and then the top three notes again. And then I'm walking down on the A string, third fret, second fret, open. And then it's back to the G. C add nine. And then we've got a quick G, so just the root note on the high notes. And then the D major chord, root note then high notes. And then an open E string, which does sound weird, I know, don't worry. And then I'm gonna land on the G chord. And I'm playing the root notes and the fingers together. So just open E, G chord, C at nine, G again. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. As I say, go and check out the links below for tablature, chord charts, maybe backing tracks, we'll see. And you should subscribe for more videos. 
you should like this video, you should share it with your friends, and you should leave a comment telling me that I'm like your best friend and stuff. I'll see you next time. Yeah.